Hello, everyone. Welcome to my Friday Melt. This week has been a funny week for me as far as melting things. With it being in between winter and spring, my nose has really been acting up on me. I've been trying to melt down my winter holiday scents, and I can't do it anymore. I did succeed with melting all of my Be Thankful candle. I'm in love with that candle. I don't think I can ever get sick of that scent. I just started to melt Kitchen Spice from Yankee Candle, and this is the perfect candle to go to when you're in transition of winter to spring. This scent is absolutely amazing. It's a medium candle. It's got a very strong scent throw, at least for me. All these scents mixed together and not overpowering the other. They're blended perfectly of the orange, the clove, the cinnamon, and the ginger. You can't really pick out exactly what scent it is, at least I can't. It's just when I come into my kitchen, my kitchen smells amazing. It goes down into my hall a little bit, and all you can smell is this crisp, spicy scent. And like I said, it's not like you're walking in and you can be like, wow, it's cinnamon, or it's ginger no it's just a nice combination of all of this, these kitchen spices mixed together it is a perfect alternative for in between it really is this isn't all year round but i'm telling you when your nose is acting funny this is just the perfect scent because it's not bakery it's not a cinnamon you know spice that we've been melting a lot over the winter it's just amazing nice crisp spicy scent must have i love it then here we have Yankee's Gingerbread. And I love this scent. It smells like gingerbread. Every once in a while you get like the heavy note of ginger more than you would of like a, a creamy um, gingerbread. I get hit a lot with straight up ginger sometimes. It kind of fluctuates. But it is a true gingerbread scent. Like I said, it's a little bit more gingerbread, straight up gingerbread, than it is with the creaminess. At least that's what I'm getting right at this moment. But it is a great Christmas scent. Next is the all famous Meyer lemon. I started it yesterday. As you can see, I didn't even. I couldn't even burn it to an even wax. It smells horrible. Um, Meyer lemon. I. You can sometimes get a lemon scent. You, you can smell the lemon, but then at times it's mixed with something else, and I'm not even sure what it is. It's, and the only thing that sticks in my head is Wax Love Wicks says it reminds her of dirt, and I think it's because of watching that video that that's what I'm picking up. I don't know if that's what it smells like to me, but that's running in my mind over and over again like lemons mixed in dirt. And, and you know what? I think she's right. It reminds me of a lemon being mixed you know, smushed in dirt. Smells terrible to me. Please let me know if you've tried this scent and what you think of it. I don't know if it's the new wax or if it's the scent. I mean, I have melted the tart and I like the tart, but the candle itself, forget it. I mean, so please let me know if you have tried this candle or better yet, if you've tried some of Yankee Candle's other scents in the newer wax. I want to know if it's the wax itself or if it's just this scent in a candle form because sometimes it doesn't work in both you know the same scent can be really can be totally different in a candle and in a melt or a tart not a fan i will not probably be burning this i'll give it to my cousin maybe she'll enjoy it we'll switch off the candle but i i can't do it i'll stick with tarts new wax and i am definitely not purchasing any of the candles in the new wax form not happening I'm so disappointed in that candle. It's not even funny. I was so excited. Next is three Yankee Candle Tarts, Spiced Pumpkin. I love this in a candle. Not too crazy about it in a tart, though. I have to say, it didn't come up real spicy to me. It, I, Well, it did come up spicy. I want to say I didn't smell the pumpkin really much in this. It was kind of weak in my tart warmer. Again, I'm not sure if it's my nose playing tricks with me. The, the, my nose just doesn't want these scents anymore, I'm guessing. But I just couldn't get a strong scent throw out of the tart. But the candle, wicked strong scent throw. I do like the scent. It's just for some reason the tart was acting funny. Milk and cookies. I've gone over this a number of times. It smells like shortbread mixed with some creamy vanilla. But not heavy on the vanilla. Just gives it that creamy note. So like I said before, this is good for a person who does not like sweet bakery scents. Because it's definitely not real sweet. 
lemon zest. This is what I put in yesterday while I was melting Meyer lemon, and I had to blow out the Meyer lemon because I had these going in my other rooms because I wanted a lemon scent. Here we go. Lemon zest is awesome. It smells like a zesty lemon. This is what a lemon scent should smell like. It's amazing. It's crisp. It's refreshing. It's zesty, and it's lemon. So those are my Yankees. I did melt one of my own uh, blueberry cheesecake, and I have it on my blog. And it looks like right here it didn't melt evenly, but it really did. If you look all the way around, it melted good. <clears throat> all my candles so far, I've been getting a pretty good wax pool. But over in the corner, up and through here, there's a little bit of wax on the top there. And I don't know if it's, I blew it out. And I don't know if I splattered some of the wax on the side or not. But anyways, this scent is really, mm. it is a blueberry cheesecake. It's a sweet blueberry with the creaminess of cheesecake. I love this scent. Love it, love it, love it. And what I have been doing with my candles is I've been using them in these candle sleeves from Bath & Body Works. Granted, it doesn't fit all the way, but as it's melting, I believe that these holders hold in the heat really good and tries to melt the wax very evenly in the candles. I've been having good luck with these candle sleeves. I wish it was a little bit higher, but that's all right because it's working out pretty good with this. So if you're having a hard time with some of your candles, try at least to use a candle sleeve and see if it holds in that heat, which I'm going to do that with my jar candles from Yankee because sometimes the jar candles I have a really hard time with, so I want to buy a candle sleeve from Yankee for my jar candles. My tumblers do fine. Next is my Bath of Body Works ones. I got Aloha Vanilla, and I love this scent, and it did melt evenly, but sometimes, like I said, when I blow it out, I think, I, I got to stop blowing them out. I do have a, sniff, a snuffer, and for some and I do have a little thing to dip the wet, dip the wick in the wax so that you're not getting the soot and you're not blowing the wax. But sometimes I just get so impatient. So be careful. You're not supposed to blow out your candle because first off it's going to get smoky. Secondly, it can splatter the wax over to the side. But anyways, just a little tip. The Aloha Vanilla. It's a nice creamy vanilla with a little bit of that coconut, a little bit of sweet melon. And I think the lotus flower just gives it a little bit of a unique scent, which I'm really shocked about. <clears throat> I love it. It's a soft scent, but it's strong enough to smell when you go into a room. It's perfect when you're looking for that relaxing or not overpowering scent. You just want something that's melting but not straight in your face. This is a good one. And again, I use it in my candle sleeve. And it's really been helping my four-ounce candles melt pretty good. Next is Peach Bellini and even Pull of Wax. This scent I really enjoy. It is peach and orange scent. So sometimes, this is the candle like when, you're in, when I was in my office, I smelled straight up peach and it smelled great. It was a sweet, juicy peach. And then I left the room, came back, and I smelled some orange in there. So this candle is kind of like a surprise candle. You don't know what you're going to get as it starts to melt. You know, once in one um, sniff, you can get more of a peachy scent, and another sniff, you can get some of that orange scent. I like it. It's like a surprise. And they work well together, the peach and the orange. And I don't mind it. I like peach Bellini. I like the original one. But I don't mind the orange in this because they're going to be coming out with a market peach. So to me, that's fine. We're going to have a peach scent anyways. This is just a little bit of a different twist on peach Bellini. So if you like orange... You're going to like Peach Bellini. Next is a classic, Warm Vanilla Sugar. This is melting evenly. Of course, this is a vanilla scent with musk in it. And I do enjoy this, believe it or not, because it does have musk. It's just a relaxing vanilla scent to me. You've got a little bit of the sugary note. You've got the creamy vanilla with a little bit of musk. And it works great for a relaxation candle. And I get a softer scent throw off of this 4-ounce candle. It's not a strong scent throw. It's a soft scent throw to me. But it is a relaxing scent. That's a classic. Last for Slotkin Bath & Body Works is my Marshmallow Fireside. I was in the mood for something 
smoldering, you know, something different. Get out of that bakery scent and get out of the spice scent and fruit scent. So at night I was melting this perfect blend of toasted marshmallow with that fireside. So you get the fireside note, but you also get the sweetness from the marshmallow. I love this scent. I know it will come back next year for sure because it was so popular and it's just amazing. It's perfect on those cold days and nights. That's what the scent is perfect for. Warmer days, not so good. When I was trying when it was 60 degrees out, it just wasn't doing, <laughs> doing the best for me. And uh, last is my Chem Chat. And I've been trying to burn a lot of them because I have a ton of them. And I had a lot going at one time. And what I had going the other day in different rums was orange caramel crumble, hot orange danish, and 7-Up Pound Cake. Now, these two scents I really like. Out of the two orange scents, hot orange danish is perfect. You, It definitely smells like a, a danish with orange in it. It's that danish bakery pastry note with that center of hot orange in the middle. It is an awesome scent. I love this. So far, this is my best. I haven't tried um, orange chiffon, but out of all the orange scents from Kim's, it's hot orange danish. Orange caramel crumble. This is definitely a more um, sweet bakery scent because it's got the caramel, it's got the crumble cake and the orange. It's still a great scent, but to me, I was looking for more of an orange note, which I pick up more in the hot orange danish. But this is still a wonderful scent. 7-Up Pound Cake. What can I say? It smells like 7-Up in a cakey mix. So you get that bubbly note of like a 7-Up soda drink. You get that bubbly, sparkly note, refreshing, and then you get that kick of cake, which is like a vanilla pound cake. Really awesome, and it's super strong. Super, super strong. Next, do, do, do. monkey munchies. I am loving these, loving these, loving these. I've been having this going a lot in my son's room. It is banana, crisp apple, and creamy caramel. I don't get apple. I get a lot of banana with caramel and it's a fruity scent but the caramel gives it a little bit of a bakery note as well so it just gives it that uniqueness love it must try it, you can burn this all year round because it's got the banana it's very heavy on the banana but that caramel note just gives it that unique scent iced lemon piscotti now when i first melted this in my office i wasn't crazy about it but i think it was a little bit too early now the other day i melted it and i absolutely loved it very strong lemon. It's a bakery lemon, of course. It's oh, it's a creamy lemon with a biscotti scent. Amazing. Like I said, very sweet lemon with that biscotti cookie. Try it. You're going to love it. If you love lemon and you love biscotti, you are going to love that one as well. And, of course, Fruit Loop. I have mentioned this before. I have been melting this a couple of times in my son's room, and it smells exactly like Fruit Loops in a box. So if you have not tried Fruit Loops for any vendor, it doesn't matter if it's Kim's, I have not found a Fruit Loop scent that I do not like from a vendor yet. Yet. So you can't go wrong with Fruit Loops. And this is an all-year-round thing as well because it's just got that unique scent of the Fruit Loops in, you know, the Fruit Loops cereal. I mean, you, just, you can't go wrong with it. I don't know anybody that does not like Fruit Loops, but I'm sure there was many out there that don't. Oh, my goodness, I forgot one more. Yes, I was melting Party Light. And I was melting this the other day. It's holiday spices. And what I get from this scent, and you get a lot of melts in these. What I get from this scent is cinnamon and nutmeg. It's just a nice, spicy, holiday, it's definitely a holiday spice scent. And they melt wonderfully because they're um, a creamier wax. And again, I melt my candles and I've been, I just put... I took this out to show, but I've been using my, and that's, so you see what happens when I do that a lot, the wax is going to move over to the sides, but I've been using my awesome candle sleeve that has pineapples, it has uh, margarita glass on it with umbrellas, and I just think this helps. Now, the medium-sized candle for Yankee fit perfect in there, and I really think it helps 
decorate the candle, but that's not that's not why I use them that much anymore. It's because I think it really holds in the heat a little bit more as you're melting your wax. So if you're having trouble with your candles, just try a candle sleeve. It doesn't hurt. They're not that expensive at Yankee. Well, I'm, I should say Bath and Body Works. Yankee can be expensive. Use a coupon. I'll let you know when I get the bigger um, candle sleeve for my Jack candles from Yankee. The ones I've been having problems with, I'll let you know if it helps some. But definitely at least try the candle sleeve and see if that's if that's going to help your candle melt a little more evenly. That way you don't have to do the foil or any of the tricks. You just put it in the sleeve and see if that's going to help some. Oh, I almost forgot one thing. Um, I am going to be placing an order from the All Natural Beauty. That's her name on YouTube. Is having an online party for Gracie Jones, I believe, tarts, and I've never tried them ever. So I am going to make a purchase from her, small purchase, and see how I like them, and I will do a review on them. Well, a haul when my parts come in. I will link below her information if you're interested and you want to get in on her party. If you're in the mood for trying new tarts, you know, help somebody out on YouTube with one of their parties that are going on. It's an online party. So I'll link all the information below. So thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and I didn't ramble on too much. There's so much that I melted this week in a way, I guess. I guess it was more than I thought. So thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video. And comment down below and let me know what you've been melting. Thanks. Bye.